<laughs> you already know what time it is. You know what show it is. Share the love, share the vibe. Happy Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, happy Friday. Happy Friday. It's Flawless <laughs> Friday, so if you're feeling flawless, you don't need no makeup. So we came. The girls is bearing it all today. We giving y'all the real pretty. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, also it is Friday, so get your weekend started off right. We got Lucky CBD. This is the Delta 8 drop, so you just put this under your tongue behind the mother. We got the pre rolls. Yo, we just had Maria lost it, but we just had some Girl Scout cookie CBD rocking. We have the regular CBD gummies for you people who just want to relax, but we also have the Delta 8 that's going to get you straight. Don't take more than three at a time. Okay? And uh, whose voice sound like your ex? <laughs> And we in the building. We got pain solved, ladies and gentlemen. We got sleep drops. I just got a new uh, new shipment in last night, so we excited about that. Well, congratulations to everyone after the show. Make sure y'all go get them CBDs, the W E E D, because that's really what it is. And make sure you also subscribe to Babs uh, Queen of the Ring uh, YouTube channel. And as you're there, make sure you are subscribed to the B E C show. It's Bacon Egg. The letter N, cheese, show, show that love, hit that notification bell. Y'all can get those badges. And also go to my website after the show, MissLissaKnows.com. It's entrepreneurians in the building, all of the ladies doing big things. Now, hot topics. It feels like uh, Keith Murray is always... He got always got something to say. He might as well have a pot. I think he got a podcast. Yeah, he's so on maybe he, fire. Yeah. So uh, there was two videos dropped in. Uh, do you want to queue up? I like when you was doing it. So if you want to, you know, get into it, it's a partnership. Pick which video, and we gonna give a quick, you know, synopsis. Y'all already know Keith Murray is still in tea. He's kissing. He's telling the most beautiful thing in this world is him showing his ass. I didn't know. So. He said Foxy Brown gave him the... Boy, uh, uh, he gave me and Red Man our publishing. He never messed with our intellectual property for monetary gain. That's one of the things that the boss always gave us and showed us. But we just try it again, like, yo, pub. I want my publisher to put it in Madison and Dolly May, my kids. Madison and Milan, because Dolly don't need it. But Madison Milan, pub. What? Sign this paperwork. I want my publisher, bro. Pub. It's my publishing, and I want it now. <laughs> Can you show the other video, like, too? It's my money, I want it now. <laughs> Can you show the other one? Because didn't you say something else recently about somebody hitting The show, we rock hardcore when it's a hotel, oh, and she gave no, hardcore that heads. Oh, we did that already. <laughs> Stop. Don't <laughs> Huh? We already talked about that topic. It was a different you know, one. Don't worry. So, yeah, so now, those are the two videos that we have. He, I didn't. You well, didn't talk that about was just the thing. That's, that's a whole nah, that, a different that's one. A whole, he, that's a whole nother one. Yeah, that's, that's correct. That's he's not, that's not the video we watched the other day. Are y'all serious? What? Good lord. Then I ate a. He told my boxy. She was talked about that at that time. So we was coming out of the hotel after she gave me head tapping me. This is better producing. Wow, like put me off. So I was coming out of the hotel, the Lamar Trio. He did one about Foxy giving him head. He did one about him giving Sean a head. And then he get, did one about Yeah, and, but he said he never head. smashed nobody. So you might be right. You might be, he might be giving me little peen vibes. It's not Mike. We already established that's what's happening. Because what? First of all, it's a different energy. Any man that's running around acting like, cause like, pull your skirt down, pull your skirt down. Like, what are you talking about? What are you saying? Like, you acting? It's 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 not giving what's supposed to be game. You gotta calm down, Keith. Well, to step on stage and girls supposed to scream like you, Keith. They supposed to want to scream at Keith. Like, what is happening? No, like I don't I don't like it. I don't like when men start acting. I don't even like when women start doing it. Like, I mean. You know, speak your truth, whatever, what have you, but calm down. Is that all you have? Like, you don't have nothing going on currently? Like, you got to pull out the, the crates and start digging in them? I don't like it. Crazy. He might need but, a lawyer. He might need a lawyer. So this is the world's first robot lawyer. And we're going to show the video, and then we're going to go to Lady Luck for... Oh, there's no videos. Lady, we're going to go to Lady Luck for more. Um, so there's a story that's going around, and for the first time ever, uh, a AI lawyer is going to be representing a client in court. Um, I don't know what the person's charges are, 
I don't even know how they found this lawyer. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know any of the details. They just the story is mainly about, you know, for the first time in history, a computer, an AI is going to be representing this guy. And they said what's interesting about it is that like what makes a good lawyer is somebody who who could remember the laws and you know compare them to your case and things of that nature you know but with ai artificial intelligence they be able they have everything on record from the beginning of time oh so, you're right they so gonna have lawyer, that, they gonna have the cloud memory yeah, yeah, so your lawyer might not know about uh jones versus you know the state of new the state of new jersey versus jones in 2005 you know what i'm saying and, and what what what's the i don't like of that? this because then it's beyond that because now i'm thinking even more than that this ai lawyer with the damn apple brain might be able to go up in the cloud and find your news and how to get to go to people's phones and find your stuff because now it's too digitized for me it's too no 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 like mm -mm, everybody going to jail Everybody going to jail. I will hire the AI lawyer. I hope he's not as expensive or, of or it is not. See, as is he going to be able to do that? Yes. Yeah, expensive, uh, you know, as a regular lawyer. Overflow, you saying lost jobs. Let me explain something to you. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to figure out what we're going to do because all the jobs is leaving. Okay. They had a, uh, they had the McDonald's that makes the meal. What's McDonald's or one of these fast food places? There's nobody working there. It's all computer. Jay-Z just invested in the pizza truck. Just make the pizza right there. You type it in, and the pizza just come right out. What y'all need to figure out to do is how to build these machines. Y'all have to become tech people, and that's just it. Um, I forgot the name of that movie with the black girls. They was like the human calculator or whatever. What was the name of it? When they went to the, space? The, the black I girls, think. I think. Um, Nah, one of them they they was like the first oh. girls that were. Oh, I know, I know um, you're talking about. Uh, what is the name? With uh, Taraji in them. That's what I'm talking about with the what, space when she worked at NASA. Yeah, space and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Hidden figures. Yeah, 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 that chick. But they when they came with the computers, she said, "Listen, we need to learn how to work these computers. That's the only way we're gonna keep our jobs." So at the end of the day, because they didn't need them anymore, they had the computers. So now, people, y'all better start listening. Put your kids in and, some and nobody coding classes, and nobody put them in some tech not classes. Even us rappers, they had uh, a, a a rapper that they signed that was not human. The only reason why they dropped him and stuff is because he used the N word. And I can't be, I can't be. I, I'm, I'm safe. I'm about to make a whole avatar. No, I get it. I'm Yo, that would be fire. Be a you whole definitely rapper should do that. In the meta. Just, yes, you should it'd be do that. a whole be a rapper, rapper in the meta. Is you crazy? Like, Look on. at you ahead of the game. I love it. Now, um, before we go into our next topic, we actually have a guest that we're going to have come on for a couple of minutes just to talk to everybody because tis the season to get stimmies. Not just like, no stimmies, but it is tax season. So we, and we support black owned businesses here on the bacon egg and cheese show so we're gonna have it's a uh, tm taxes one i believe yeah he's he gonna do doing our bad. taxes for free because if he's not, doing, he doing, your taxes if he not free, doing my taxes he's doing your free, taxes he can't come up here he's, you can't come up here i need a the person who did donald trump taxes if you could do my taxes well like you'll they did find donald out when trump he comes taxes, up, you all of you that. could be I don't want, I'm asking you, Lissa, you, I know you, I know no. you, Lissa, you got I me. told you I got you. You, you got, you got me. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I've been said that, I said that when I said that. I said, I said, Beth, he's doing your taxes for free. I said that. Now, um, but yeah, we just want to have him just come up a couple of moments, because he also helps people that have businesses, because you know. When you have a business, you need to file your taxes. So he specializes in that for the entrepreneurs and especially because we want to promote black people doing black things. So yes, please, TM Taxes One, please see if he's in the queue. If not, we're going to go to the next vibe. If y'all hop, if y'all hop in, yeah, share the live, share the love. Because Instagram be, yo, I know Instagram is a liar. I'm going to try you. Instagram is a liar. Well, can, can, That's I'm why I'm about to retire. Up right quick. Can I bring my friend up right quick?
I got, sex, I got sexy Frank what coming up right quick. He does everything. He is an entrepreneur. He is a what he gonna do for me? I the 2023 a, is what you gonna do for me? Are you gonna do something my, for me? My, my friend, I'm bringing up. He is an entrepreneur. He is uh, extremely handsome. He has not aged. Uh, uh, my friend is acting, you know, he's doing so much and, um, I just seen him in the queue. So I want to surprise you and, uh, bring him up. Let's see if he accepts. If he ain't putting me in no movie or nothing, you didn't drop play, boy. I got I no it. time to be playing with y'all in 2023. Okay, what you gonna do for me in twenty? And tell your people uh, when they come in here to, uh, to, to request, um, so we can pull them up. Well, I saw my friend. I don't know. Well, okay. Well, we'll, we'll, I'll do all of that in a second. Let's just jump into another topic. So, there's an Indian man who brought his deceased wife back to life as a living doll. Let's just go to the video. He spent three thousand dollars. I want to know your opinion. He got it for the, the low. He said he got it for the low. <sighs> That's the lady, that's the doll. Let me turn up this down. That's the doll. That's his wife that he, I guess he had her embalmed like people do dead birds. And you know, she's going to be forever with him. And somebody, the tax man is in the building. Um. So what was happening I with said the that bird? That man, so you know how some people when they they, they uh, kill birds or animals they do they embalm them and so that they can have it forever. So when his wife passed away, he turned her into a living doll. That's what I was showing you. That was oh, man, I, 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 I would do that. I would do that for Maria because I don't. I, Maria's already my doll, and and I don't want her to to leave me you know so i would make that but it's scary you walk in the house sometimes if you forget ladies and gentlemen we got Lil zane in the building i wouldn't want him to wear a wig for Lil zane you ain't trying to grow up a little bit i'm trying to grow up a little i still got a lot of growing to do well i mean but besides all the growing to do he has not aged ladies and gentlemen i'm in atlanta you know I just moved down here. I see him walk in the restaurant. I had a groupie moment. I ain't oh, even gonna hold stop it. it. Stop it. I, I got up. I said, I'm Lady Luck. Now, I don't know if you think I'm DJ Lady Luck or Lady Luck with the bars because I get confused sometimes. I don't even, you know, but I walked up to him. I said, Yo, my name Lady Luck. He like, What up, sis? Don't take my number. Yeah. You an yeah. industry person? Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you gonna do that industry shit? I text him, Yo, Luck, let's work. I said, Is he hitting the music? Industry because this is not yeah. how people act. Yeah. But he's, uh, I mean, real from day one, man. We're so proud of you. We we see we you out here you. acting. Thank you. You're a legend. I, I just want you to come. I just want you to come yes. plug right now because I was just on your live. You told me how you yeah. acting and 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 everybody yeah. is family on set. So please yeah. bring everybody up to speed on what you're doing. With when we can tune in. Hey, well, you know, first of all, thank y'all. Happy New Year. Um, I'm proud to be with you guys. You guys are beautiful. Uh, when I see you at the spot, I think we was at um, Fade and Fawcett. Yeah. And you was with a gang of just super, super fly women and just y'all was doing y'all thing. Y'all, you know, anytime you walk in a room and it's and it's a it's a it's a room full of just marvelous people like that, you can't walk past them. So um, you know, thank you for stopping me too. So nice to me that day. I really appreciate it. And um and it caught me off guard how cool you was. It really did. <laughs> it, it, it fucked me up, you know what I'm saying? I had but, to take um, my my moment, you know what I'm saying? I was, I, yeah. I'm such a fan. I normally don't do it. I said, hold, hold my. <laughs> I'm about to start rapping. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to start some of his verses. That's how I feel. I'm, I'm right with you, okay? I feel the same way, okay? I'm right with you. I'm like, calling me, calling me, calling me. <laughs> say my name. I play with us. I love no, you. Oh, real, qu real quick, I, I don't know if you know Babs Bunny, first lady in the street, the girl making the band, queen of the yeah, ring, entrepreneur. Hey Babs, you know, you know, come on, you know we love you. Come on, I, like, come on, I ain't come even on now. Like, you know we love you for I, real, for real. I, I didn't even know it was you. She said I'm pulling out my friend. Uh, I thought it was uh, so lame. I was like, oh uh, no, bitch, hey, no, I no, seen it, and no, that's no, how I, no. you, I had caught you. Uh, and um, I think I DM'd you, and I know hey, I came on there. I was like, hey, ladies, whatever. And I knew I was like, I gotta be on the show because y'all was lit. Y'all was lit. I was like, I gotta be on this show real quick. 
Yeah. Having a good time. And this is Miss Lissa, media <laughs> maven, I do. Uh, incredible How are you? comedian, just all around entrepreneur and genius. So now that you know the girls, let's hop into what you're doing. We ain't going to keep you long, but man. We appreciate you. You're a comedian, man. I'm, um, you know, uh, BMF came on last night. Shout out to everybody watching this that watched it. We did the first, see, the first episode of season two last night. Um, it, it premieres tonight at nine o'clock on Stars, but you know, it drops at twelve o'clock the day before. Um, we got a good reaction on. Um, we're getting a good reaction on it. So what I did was, I put together a comedy tour called the Born Mad Funny Comedy Tour. It's the BMF Comedy. And um, I know you say you do comedy, so it might be something you want to come get down with. But, I'm um, trying to get down or lay down. Okay, okay. damn. What you mean? Oh, yeah, nah, for real. What you mean? Because I'm nah, my real. manager. If you want to be a part of We can work it out for sure. Um, I got What I did was I put together the BMF Born Mad Funny Comedy Tour. It's going to be hosted by me and um, different members of the different members of the cast. And, and basically, um, I'm bringing out five of the dopest, dopest, newest, young, most litest comedians in the city and in between each um in between each act i'll be you know fucking with the crowd hyping them up doing songs performing so it's gonna be like a whole a whole little vibe it's an experience okay? and hello yeah. you said yeah. everything that needed to be said what are you red, knock, red, knock, red, knock 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 right here jump knock red, knock red. But look, but look, red carpet event, <laughs> we're going to make it like um, my, my water company. I got a new water bottle company. It's called Unwind Water Bottle. So Unwind so Water water, bottle. Unwind yeah. water be sponsoring it. You know, I drank all the water, but Unwind Water be sponsoring it. And uh, hold, I got to show y'all these bottles, though. Yeah, I don't think the ladies. Come on, you drink it early, man. I don't think the ladies see my bottles. I got to I gotta show the ladies my want, bottles. We want to see, see your bottles after okay. they eat the cream. <laughs> That's when they first want to start seeing your body. You see how I'm living? You see how I'm living? Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Fire. I don't know if y'all hoop right. a little bit. I've been working on my hoop game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I bought you five on the court. Court. I don't play no basketball, problem. but I could definitely be a basketball wife. Hey, oh, oh yes. That, hey, man, he said I could be a basketball wife. If not look. necessary, you know. Hey, look, you need, do you need me to help you with your tendons? What you do? <laughs> Is everything okay? Hey, look, look, look! I want to be, I want to be a trainer for the women's basketball. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where is the basketball? basketball. <laughs> well, then you gotta go, get, go hit a bag. She just, you gotta go hit a bag. He's trying to take some Amazon bags. So the bottles are. Is that glass? It's glass and plastic. That's it's fire. plastic. It's glass and plastic. So look, it's these glass. Are, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, have I to just go made that word up. Quick. It's called glass. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to fuck y'all head up. Excuse my language. Hold up. So look, so look. So ladies, this is my this is my plastic one. Fine. It's called unwind, it's called unwind water bottle. So it's water and wine bottles. Nice. Right? This we like my, it. This is my baby okay. one. My baby champagne bottle ones. These are my glass. So I got glass, plastic, glass. And then of <laughs> course I got the of course I got the little ones if you're traveling or whatever, you know what I'm saying? For the kids, whatever. So we really own it. Like is this alkaline? Alkaline water, alkaline water, and wine bottles. The, the plastic bottles are reusable, so you can recycle, you can re reuse them, put whatever you want in them. Your wine, your liquor afterwards be done, or you can go to one of our dispensaries around Atlanta, and fill it up. And dispensaries around Atlanta, you can go fill your bottles up. So you know that's what we on right now. Real water boy of Atlanta. Shout out to Boosie. Shout out to Boosie. You know what I'm saying? But Fire. Real water boy of Atlanta, and um, you know my whole concept is just. To drink water, to make water, to make drinking water more sexy and more fun. I mean, Jesus turned the water into wine. You turned the wine back into water. Oh, you know what I mean? oh, bars. <laughs> okay. Like, oh, bars. Yeah. Let's and talk about it. Water could be boring. Bars. Sometimes drinking water could but be boring because you, know. you see that that wine right there. You see that liquor right there. And you're like, damn, why am I drinking this? So I wanted to put it. I'm in the club and I don't want to drink liquor. But I want to have the same feeling. I want to look. Mm -hmm. I want to feel when I'm drinking. I want to feel good. So if you you can hold the bottle like this while you drink it, you just feel like you're drinking liquor, but you're drinking water. So it's a way to kind of trick yourself to hydrate even more. You know what I'm saying? So just a fun. I invented a funner way to drink water, and um, the ladies are really loving it right now. I love and the it's way good for the men that don't have the budget. You know, for the bottle bottle. Come on. You go get them. You better stop. Oh, you and then your skin gonna be better. 
Hello. <laughs> what you trying to do? When you go use the bathroom, it won't, it won't smell crazy no more. He gonna Ooh. clean out the kidney. Listen. We cleaning out the kidney. Don DeMarco. You ain't have to kick him off. He just dropped the mic. Is in. Jalito was good. Don DeMarco was good. I seen Bonnie in the in the building. I what don't up, know Bonnie? if she's still here, but what's up, Bonnie? Nah, uh, all right. I guess we just got uh, disconnected. He's coming back in right now. And um, it's Friday, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure, make sure you ready. Yo, my bad. I got excited. I hit the button by mistake. My bad. I got excited. I have that effect. <laughs> Yo, got... It happens. Hey, so but look, so this so it's just really like a, a sexy way to drink water. And you know what I'm saying? I want I wanted all the ladies to kind of just like jump on this because you might not have the money in the club. Fellas, fellas might not have a hundred dollars a bottle, right? But the club come out with sparkles on it when it come out. It's only like fifteen twenty dollars in the club. Who ain't got fifteen twenty dollars? You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't doing it for the look anyway. You just want the sparkles and the attention anyway. Well, and you want to you don't want to be so drunk well, let you me can't make it home you want to exactly. see you know see it see yourself clear Man. like the water hey, i need to well, i need to hire you, you as a doctor hello you got the concept you got the concept you go there you go you got to holla at hey, me hey, though. Hey, i'm a manager holla at me uh, and i'm, I'm all about in, all know? about promoting health wealth and just awareness best Look how good you look, babe. Like you need, I need you to tell the world you drink this to look that good. You know what I'm saying? Listen, yeah. this is Come what on. I'm talking about. This skin A1. Hey, love this it, man. Like, like for real. Thank you for having me on it. I love it. Like, I love the fact that we on here chopping it up. Um, I know you got the, I need to have, I need to send y'all a bottle or something so y'all can have a bottle sitting somewhere on your desk while you while you doing your while you doing your lives. Like I, I just want to be a part of y'all whole. Your whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Yes, make sure, listen, you can send us some bottles to put on the live, but I need bottles to show while I'm working out when I'm in the gym. <laughs> so I need a case because me, you know, we all work out. So when we in the gym, you know what I'm saying? I then, you know, it. I'm going to drop some jewels on you. That black, the black case on top, you got to make it pink. Like gloss, do you see this? Make it like this color. No, the ladies I was doing like pink different pink holidays, stuff, like for Easter. You know? But East, I have the pink tops with the pink. You got to make the bunny for East, the bad bunny. You know what I'm like, talking about? There you go. I, I, we, I, it, listen, holla at me. My clients, um, Miss yes, Lisa yes. and Lady Luck, these are my artists right here. You know, so I lock everything in, everything that needs to be done. Yo, I, I love it. Yo, um, before you, know, before you know, go, I'm, I'm, I'm not bullshit. Oh, I'm not bullshit. I really, really, really want to get some bottles to y'all, and I need y'all to. I'm gonna hit you. Part of this, like y'all, y'all. I'm gonna hit you after the show. I'm gonna pull up on you next week Let's... when I get back in town because I got lucky. Oh, you know, CBD. see, see, so see. I'm, we gonna swap it out, and I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, we gonna swap it yeah, out. There we go. My word, man. That's why we here now. So when I'm... you see me, I say, yo, whatever you need from me, I got you. And um, shit, we here now. So let's just keep it going. I really appreciate y'all having me on y'all platform. Y'all all are killing it. You know what I'm saying? So. Look, I pre if y'all in town on the 22nd of July, I mean, um, January, I would love for y'all to come to this um comedy show. It's going to be one in a million. Y'all going to love it. Where y'all based oh, it's at? In Atlanta? It's, yeah. it's in Atlanta? Y'all in New York? I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Georgia. They, uh, she's in New York. She in Texas. But that's Look. nothing. They, they travel. But so. you, live in a, you live in Georgia? Yeah, I'm here. Lady, I got to see you there. And we got to get y'all out of some way. I know we got some time before it go, but. Damn, oh, you the big, listen, you the I'm, big baller. It ain't nothing for you to get us a flight out there. Listen, the you ladies might be fucked up with some surprise performance from there, but yo. Yeah. Hello, now. There, there, we go. there you when go. You throw that Where? song on. Yo, and, and, now and, 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 and before you go, normally we, you know how many female fans you got out here that even the niggas go crazy, but you know how many female fans that you really inspired to like, Get out here and grab the mic. Like I know you see all these female fans rapping. They wasn't around when you was when you was doing your thing and setting it off. Like look at all these females that you inspire. So like they would love to see you pop up at that motherfucker. That's That'll be I'm cool. I'm there. I'm there. And normally here on the Big Eggy T show, when we have a guest, you know, we 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 get their history. You know, we give them flowers and stuff. This was spare the moment. I saw you on live. You'll pull up. Thank you. But just letting you know that you are a legend. We are so proud of you because um me you Babs. We know what it is to get in the music industry and then, like, what's next? You get right. what I'm saying? But for you to still be relevant, for you to still be popping and, and killing it 
at that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's such a blessing. And God bless you, all your endeavors. I'm pulling up January 22nd to the Born More Funny uh, uh, comedy yeah. show. We're going to get Miss Lisa on there. Bab's going to pull up. But we definitely appreciate you. And me and you going to lock in. I, I'm, I got the studio in the crib. We're going to work. I'm a fan of all of y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. It goes both ways. Y'all supporting me. I'm going to support anything y'all do. Babs, you know I love you to death. We come from the, we come from the yes, same camp, that bad boy baby. camp. So you, you don't even know we, we share a special know. bond already. You know what I'm oh. saying? So um, anything. I love that. Yes, that's why you gotta hey, make man, we sure got... I'm in the building on the 22nd. Oh, you gotta make you're, sure I'm there. I already know really this. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna try to. Yes. And I'm gonna do one out in Texas too. I'm trying to set up Houston right now. You what part of Texas you in? You about Dallas. I'm, you in Dallas, so maybe Houston and Dallas, Houston. maybe, I don't know, I'm I'm connected, I just got off the phone with Southwest T, so we setting up one in Detroit, so maybe, maybe you can help me set the one up in Dallas, if you got a comedy show out. Now, we, we going so to Houston, maybe we y'all got to connect to connect to a comedy, a comedy um, club out in Houston, if you could just put me in touch with them over the DM, maybe send me some, now, I don't know if you, um, if you got somewhere you already go perform out there a lot, but trying to find a dope comedy spot to do it in either Dallas or Houston. I'm gonna bring the whole, like at least the main members of the cast, whatever, and um, fine. it's gonna be fun. You're gonna have some fun. All right, fine. All right. Come All right. on. Bam, bam, you heard yeah, that, bam, 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 so we bam, need that yeah, spot. Like, and ladies, this spot, the bam. flights on Spirit is $89. I got y'all. Yo, you're <laughs> dumb. You got, you're hey, dumb. Wow, wow trip. I, well, spirit. I bring big bag. On Spirit, man. <laughs> wow trip, don't bring no clothes. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that. Just, just bring, bring yourself. Just bring yourself. You better put your outfit. Your outfit hey, can't fit in hey, your pocket. Well, we, we appreciate it. Eddie Luck might do that. I ain't putting y'all on spirit. I, I Cause you know how to treat her. Like, I know. You know how to treat her. Hey, like. That's what we. we still, said, you still spending that fighting temptations money? We know. Uh, uh, we know. Uh, uh, we know. Did y'all uh, okay. check, check out check your box in yet? Who I got it. I got out right now with Reginae Carter is the number one movie on Peacock. It's called Boxed In. It's oh, our, I was like, what is that? Our, okay. Oh, we're going to watch that today. Well, well, while we got you here, I'm so happy that you're here. You see how everything's worked. Well, first of all, my new passion, even though, you yeah. know, I am, you know, sure. one of the best rappers in the world, but my new passion is script writing, talking? movie making. So we have to link up. Yo, it's crazy. And you said you just did something with Regine. And actually, one of my movies, she is in, like, my dream character. You know how you got to put who you want to play these roles? She's one of the people that I have down. So you are the connection. God sent you. Lady Luck hit him up. It was God. She said it was God. Oh, she God. Let me tell you something. Babs has many dreams because every rapper that comes on here, she's selling her movie. I'm a rapper. She never gave me a role. She saved me for the damn soundtrack. Okay? Imagine we got Saya on here. We both light-skinned. We both dressed like men's. And she's inviting her to the movie. And I said, hello. I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. What is wrong with you, Babs? At p.m. Hey, no, no. Notice, notice she didn't even put me in it. She said, I got remission. She skipped off over, <laughs> over me. Like, Hell. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even me this. She said, look, you gonna be the connect to get me. Yo, that's a fact. <laughs> God sent you for Reggie <laughs> Day. Now, I know you acting this shit, Zane, but you gonna be the connect. Yo, yo that's a lot. Nah, it, 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 it's dope. And we're gonna, we gonna support. Real quick, who do you enjoy more, acting or rapping? You know what? I do both, man. I love, I love both of them. I'm really, 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 um, I love both. But at the time, the reason why I did acting, because that's what was calling me. You know what I'm saying? Like, Calling me, calling me, calling me. You probably understand movie. You do. Look, Bad, you Bad, you could probably understand this. Like in this music industry, we do music every day. You probably record music every day, just like I do, right? We just don't put it out yet because we're waiting for the time and or the right situation or whatever. So my thing was I've been recording music every day since I fucking was born. You know what I'm saying? Since the first time you seen me, I've been recording music every day. That's what I what I do. That's my main job. But you know, when you take that step, step off of music to um to to do other things in life, like I, I rap, but you know what I'm saying, I sing more. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a singer. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm on some like when when I send y'all my new shit, it's like I'm vocal, I'm singing, I'm I'm the rap, I'm the rap fucking Chris Brown. I'm trying to be hey. the, I'm 
Well, there you go. I just said yeah. that I was putting out yeah. an R&B rap um, album this year, really so I need you on that because project. Because I really took eight, nine years off to really, really learn a whole new style of music. You know what I'm saying? And when people say, well, why you took so much time off? Because I was developing my admin skills and I was developing this new style of music I'm doing, singing. I've been writing for hella people. Before Young Thug got locked up, I was writing for a couple of his artists. Nice. Um, don't so say that. Don't say that. We don't want to see you in the room. Say uh, no, no, he's just writing. Allegedly. You don't want to say you wrote none of them lyrics. I, I, hey. hey. I was writing for a couple of his artists. Me okay, and not him. Them. You didn't write them lyrics. He didn't write those lyrics. You didn't write those lyrics. <laughs> Look, you don't, you what, you, what, now, Zane, somebody in the comments said you, she, you, she, you're the first man that she rubbed off to. How does it feel being a sex symbol? Like, you know, uh, with I all the I could have told you that. I could tell you how it feels to be a sex symbol. I'm a, I'm a, I mean, I could tell you how that feels. I never considered myself a sex symbol. I just, you know, first of all, thank you. Anybody that consider me one, but um, I just, I just like to feel good. You know what I'm saying? I like to look good when I'm having sex. You know what I'm saying? I just like to look good when I'm having sex. Like I never try to be a sex symbol. You know, I just drink a lot of water and, um, I like to have energy and look good when I have sex. That's why I stay healthy, you know what I'm saying? What's the craziest situation you ever had with a fan or, or a groupie or something? Can you share that with us on, on a nice Freaky Friday? I probably had with a fan or a groupie is, um, you know, one time I, I had a girl show up at my hotel and when she showed up, she was sent by somebody. I think he was like a pimp. I didn't know that. And when she pulled up, she wasn't looking like she wasn't looking like she's looking on the picture, we, you know. And and I was like, when I opened the door, she was there with her friend. She was like, "Yes, I just said say you called for us." And I was like, "Hell no!" I was like, "Hey, never mind, I'm good." So when I closed the door, she knocked on the door, and she was like, mad. "Like, well, since I came all this way, you need to give me something." And I was like, "Bruh, I ain't got nothing for you." And she pulled out a knife on me, and she tried to stab me like at the door. She tried to stab me, so. I end up throwing like the lamp at her, and everything <laughs> out of there. You know, what I'm saying? was this like, was this Craigslist or Backpage? No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Black <laughs> Black Planet. <laughs> but I have a question. What is? But I have a question. A real question. Black I have a real Planet, question. Baby, real question. my state. Um, so you've done a lot of movies from like Doctor Doolittle. You've been worked with Sean Connery. Oh, you've done movies yeah. with Cuba Gooding Jr., Beyonce, right. like. Um, do you ever have Great. moments where you feel starstruck or do you just always feel like amongst like your peers? Um, I did, I did get starstruck. I did get starstruck when I met, when I met, um, damn, who, who did I get starstruck when I met? Like when I met, when I met, before Sean Connery passed away, I was kind of starstruck at Sean Connery because my mom had loved him so much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like to see like, the original James Bond, you know what I'm saying? And then right. oh, oh, Luther Vandross, too. Luther Vandross. I only got starstruck over the people I knew my mom was a fan mm. of. Anybody mm. my age or anybody a little older, like mm. even Whitney Houston, you know what I'm saying? I was on tour with Whitney Houston for, for 50 cities. Like, I was the only rapper who ever went on tour with Whitney Houston. Oof. People don't know that, though. People don't. We know it now. See? People don't know See? that. So I oh. wasn't. You know, I was more starstruck at meeting the people my mom was crazy about. Like when I met when I met Luther Vandross, when I met Gladys Knight, when I met, you know what I'm saying? Just the older people that I knew my mom with, like, you know, I gotta get a picture with you for my mom. Anytime I took a picture with somebody, except for you, lady, I needed that picture. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anytime I took a picture with somebody that's for my mom or somebody that, you know, I like to I like to make people happy. So I take a picture with somebody just to go get them bragging right, Ma, guess what I got for you? Boom. So I show her that. She damn near fell out of chair. Jock. I, I had a guy tell me before, oh my God, can I take a Yo, picture with you? My mother left you. And I, I was tight. I, I, have, I said, I I'm that, that old. You want to take I, a I, picture of me for your mama. mother? This man, he had a mustache and a full beard. I'm like, well, how I hate old are you? I hate that show. When somebody older than you, like, I grew up on your music. No, no, we grew up together. Yeah, we grew up together. <laughs> <laughs> we grew up and, together. But that's so true. So, like, I hate people do that, too. Like, be looking older than me, talking about, y'all grew up on your music. Nah, nigga, we grew up together. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey. But, 
but that's what it is. Though. And my and, and my mom actually was a fan of the show too. She loved making with the band. You know mm. what I'm saying? So so making the band. So my thing is shit like that. Like right now, my mom knew I was on the phone. You know what I'm saying? She probably be like, "Yo, I, I remember her that show." Like you know what I mean? So that's what I I only get starstruck when I get around people that I know. People around me are crazy about. Like if I my daughter's crazy about Ariana Grande. If I met her, I'd probably goopy out. Like yo. I got to get this picture. All right, for instance, when I did a show, when I did BMF with Cash Doll, my my my, my um my girl's daughter is really, really into Cash Doll. So, you know, I was like, yo, I got to get this picture. I ain't fuck with Cash. I ain't take a picture of Cash Doll the whole, every day on set. I was with her for two years on set. I never asked for a picture. But when we was about to wrap the second season, I was like, you know what? I, I got to get this picture for you for my daughter. So. That's the type of shit that get me kind of starstruck, just meeting people. You know, if you tell me, hey, Z, I want to meet such and such, if I meet them, I'll get that picture for you and send it to you. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's love, man. Yes. Well, when you run into Kid Cudi, because I'm going to DM you I my get, number, because we're going to be I working together. I get that man anyway. DM me that you number know, right I, now. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to DM you my number, because we're going to be working together, and then I got to lock in my audience. <laughs> Comedy show. Yo, you, you enjoy know, it. And whatever Lady Luck wants to do, wanna I gotta lock you up. You enjoy it. Hey, man. Yeah, so, hey, listen. you know, so we got Lady Luck in, no too. So, yes, yes, yes. With me. So, you, your name ain't Lady Luck for no reason. You definitely, definitely, definitely got the luck over here with me. And, um, shit, whatever we could do, man, you know, I ain't, I don't be capping. Whatever we could do to put it together. I just, I just appreciate y'all, man. I'm, I'm glad to be back on the scene doing what I love. I took some time off to really just raise my kids, keep my mind right. Like, when you're in this industry and you don't take no time off, this shit, this shit, this shit have had you hating the world. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know you've been through with me. That's like, we don't. That's why I'm going to vibe. We got to vibe. We got to talk because I tell people all the time, people could sympathize, but unless you live it. Only a few of us could under truly understand. When I have hearts to hearts with luck, it's like you know we we yeah. walk. It's like sharing a pair right. of shoes. Everybody done shared these shoes. You done right. passed them right. down. Everybody right. done right. stepped in these shoes. You know what I'm saying? But only if you stepped in them shoes, truly understand. can you truly truly yeah. understand and feel it. Because it's a difference between yeah. understanding feeling and it. actually yeah. feeling it. You know what I'm saying? And so I would love to vibe with you. I would love to be able to hit your phone. Cause like shit, I be stressed out sometimes. I wanna call you. Like, oh my god. Put us in a group text, lady. Love you got my number. I got you. Put us in a group text. Let's stay connected. It could be just it's more than just just the Instagram. You know what I mean? I I definitely would love to would love to stay connected with y'all for real, for real. And and really and really quick before you go, man, like um I love your energy. So thank God for that. Just keep that energy, you know, so, so your your burst of light, your burst of fresh air. And again, it's such a blessing to see you continuously doing your thing, dropping movies, or you're on hit TV shows, everything. So we're just honored to have you here. You're a super duper legend. You know, one day we'll get the whole story. Yeah. But uh, we, we really appreciate you. And we, I'm going to link y'all after the show. I love yes, I appreciate you. Outside. You outside. Get that yeah. money. Stay on the quick. Go to my website. Um, everybody watching this, first of all, shout out to everybody. Hope y'all have a happy new year. I hope you're enjoying the new year like we are. And um, you know, go support your boy, man. Unwind, unwind.com. It's um unwindessentials.com. You can grab a bottle, you can grab a case, you can grab a three, a three gallon, a five gallon. I got it all, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm definitely, definitely jumping in the water business crazy. I'm doing deals with Delta, I'm trying to do deals oh, yeah. with Marriott, I'm doing deals with um I'm in all the upper echelon clubs in Atlanta from, from I love the that. commerce clubs to the anywhere, you know, I, I'm on the, I'm the upper echelon of water. So anywhere y'all at. In the yes, oh. he went far out to get yeah. that good water. That uh, is not water for you owned. in we the dirty pot. Owned. I get my water from an alkaline spring that is black owned. It's a black owned alkaline spring. I'm a black owned company. So yes. all the way around, man, I'm proud of this right here, along with the music, the television, you know, just imagine this. Now when I'm doing a movie with Lionsgate, Put I'm going to talk. That right in there. I'm Hello. Person in control to buy any water. Hey, I need, I need this all over. So it's really, really big business for me. And um, I got to find some way to include you guys because we ain't stopping. This, this is a, a um, what do you call, call it? This is like yeah. generational wealth for me, you know? I love it. Water ain't going nowhere. 
spare no time. If you do it, if you look at the stocks, Water did 400, I'm sorry, Water did $43.3 billion this year alone, last year alone. Spring, That's also, the, oh, yeah. Um, if I we gonna talk one percent, we got to that. We gonna talk. We good. Hello. Yeah. We get one percent. Yeah, that we good. good. Our families is good. You know. Yeah, we all, we all good. You need to way. like sponsor a segment. We got to come flowing, up with a way. And you know, this flowing segment will be sponsored by your water, and we'll have you know, we'll figure something out like that. Yeah, we, yeah, we got to come we up want, with a way. We want a piece of the water. water. I don't want to. I don't want to tell. I don't want to tell everything right here because people still, yes, and my ideas are golden. Hey, listen, so, I, I yeah, appreciate it. Talk. Anywhere we can find out how we can include it, anywhere I can be included in what y'all are doing, I would love it. And I'm a new company, so we can use all the, all the plug we can get, honestly. You all right, we're going to work. We're going to work, definitely, because we love money. And I got a girlfriend. You see, we was in that, that Fort Fade Fawcett. They love to eat. They love money. Yes. So I'm going to hit you after Thank the show. You. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My we, women's we, love money. We too. love you, Zane. Thank they you, brother. Can't Thank you so out. much for joining us. Yes, I love you, baby. Later. Love you, baby. Love you. I hate you, baby. Yes. My women's love money I can't too. Stand love, you. Every rapper come on here. Mind. Yo, I bite in movies now. Leave and I her alone. It's like movies. Shark Tank. When she going to yeah. maximize the opportunities. You but always have her back. I don't pay her no mind because she already knows. Let me tell you, no, I know I'm going to be in the movie. movie. Let me tell y'all like, what kind what of friend Bass really is, right? Now, I'm outside. It is raining. It is pouring rain. And Babs is all the way in Brooklyn. I don't go to Brooklyn. Just to let you know, I met, I had a bad bitch. She was on TV. I picked her from the airport. It took, it took you know, out to eat and everything. By the time it got back home, it took me an hour and a half, and there was no traffic. I never even called her again because I'm not coming to see you. It's like you live in Philly, bitch. So I drive all the way to Brooklyn. Babs had me reading parts for this film. I was the best one there. They told her that. Do you know Babs told me, nah, I love you. Not. Oh, I'm sorry. Nah, I love you not in the movie. You just came to read it. You just came to read it. That girl is mad young. You too old for that role. Why would you think you could have that role? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? So what the fuck did I come out here and read for? She doesn't even hear it. She she's in the she movie. She hear it. You're in I got the movie. Lines. You're playing yourself. So you played yourself. Bitch, you know how many actors want to get three lines? You know how many people stand on set all day and so have be no happy. lines? Just take None? Thank just you, Beth. Take what I can get. I'm not going to be in your movie. Yes, I quit. baby. Yes. I You're not quit. taking what you can get. I quit. You're taking but what you get. Go get Snoop Dogg. Go get Sia. Go get Zane. I quit. She said that she didn't ask Zane to be in the movie. He going he gonna to help her to produce it, put the funding behind it. She didn't, she didn't cast him. Yeah, you're ridiculous. Keenan Castle, no. there was no role for him in the movie. This movie is younger people. So when you see me in the movie, that's you know, it. This wasn't, know what, Lisa? It wasn't you know what, for Lisa? you. You know what, Lisa? Don't, you can't dance on every record. Speaking of, speaking of can't dance yeah. on every record, okay? Nicki Minaj breaks a record held by Missy Elliott. Let's switch this up right <laughs> quick. So basically, so basically... <laughs> I can't pull it up here on the computer. Basically, Missy was as the number one rap female, had the longest run on the Billboard, and then Nicki Minaj came, and with her new single, Freaky Girl, she is now the longest running female on Billboard. So let's give Nicki her flowers. Nicki, we love you for the female. In the rap category. category. In the rap category. I, I want to give Nicki her flowers. Shout out to Nicki Minaj. But we're not going to take away the fact that Missy Elliott got that title during a different time when there was really no streaming and all of that stuff. And it was a different game and it was harder to get and to that also, place. But shout out to Nicki Minaj, though. Know, shout out to Nicki Minaj. Actually speaking, but from what I know, that's why I said, is it rap? The actual longest running song on the Billboard charts is Deborah Cox, How Did You Get Here? Because they did that club mix and that's people still play that. So I don't know. We love you though. We, you know, it's I don't rap, want the barb to come for us. It's I don't rap. want the barb because she told she told Luck to get the strap and the Luck strap might be with the bar. So Nikki, don't, you want don't, don't do it. You want don't, don't do it. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of uh in the club, unfortunate news has arrived that French Montana 
and his crew were shooting a music video outside the liquor. We'll get to that in a second. Down in Miami. They're shooting a video. Uh, allegedly, somebody was getting robbed. Somebody snatched somebody else's watch or bracelet or something, and then the shots was fired. They said they heard about 15, 16 shots. Uh, according to the news media, it has not been confirmed yet, but they say that 10 people were shot outside of the uh, venue and including a new rapper. Uh, the rapper's name, um, um, he's from, oh, Jesus, sorry. It's the New York Times, they didn't mention him. But uh, he's a new rapper, he's very popular, and French Montana's uh, bodyguard. They said that they are in the hospital uh, in critical condition. Um, so we are sending our, not condolences, because I want to send my love, heart, prayers, prayers out yeah. to uh, everybody involved in this situation. Really unfortunate, you know, uh, French stays out of trouble. You know, French is very political. French is, you know, his energy is always good. I love him. Yeah, he's a nice too. person. He actually had an event the other day. It was packed. French is always nice, always very approachable, never Hollywood. Like, you heard his girl, new song? Chill. You heard his new song? Mm -mm. Uh, I didn't go. His, I didn't want to, I didn't go. I just, right. I was confirmed though, but I didn't go. But I, one thing I do want to say, and I feel like, you know, it's just unfortunate that, you know, whatever. I'm sorry, go. That's just, it's unfortunate. And French, shout out to him. Uh, yes, I do. If y'all, you know, I don't be promoting people records, but I like French new record. Yes, I do. Um, he always got good music. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He always going to give he you a vibe. Got a bop. And it's he always got a bop. It's unfortunate that, you know. Yeah. Uh, right. And, and then on top of that, ladies and gentlemen, it's unfortunate that this is where we are right now as a society. Uh, we have to get used to, we're getting desensitized to gun violence. And I don't think it's cool. And, you know, these young guys are carrying guns and they're just shooting for any reason. And it's like before, you know, like Fat Joe was saying, before you, you beat somebody up, I'm not condoning it. You pistol whip them, you take their stuff. But people are actually taking your life now. And um, I don't think there's anything on earth that's worth taking somebody's life like that. So uh, I pray for no, These kids are mouth functioning they think everything is a video game they think that you know they just going to do this and they going to power up and come back like they just not everybody's looking at their phones like they don't know how to socialize in real life like back in the day i thought it was going to be better by the time i was an adult but when our parents told us to go outside we was cultivating something it wasn't just everybody like twiddling their thumbs and TikToking, like TikTok is everybody copying the same song. This is a chat. Like nobody's an individual and nobody understands reality. It's like you just think that like you're just gonna kill somebody and it's just you're 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 more excited about people who are going to be uh talking about you. You're gonna be a hot topic. You're gonna go viral. You killed this per like it's crazy. It's nah, crazy. Nah. Definitely is like the young boy who wanted to get the Oculus, 10 years old. And um, he was upset that his mother said no. So he went and got her firearm and he took her out of here. And, and then bought it. And then bought it. And then they saying why he's locked up. The family is saying like he don't understand like what he did. And he's still asking about the video game and stuff like that. So No way. He wasn't um, asking about his mother? Uh, no. he. Uh, they said that he don't. Like, yeah, but um, he don't have any compassion or anything. But it's something mentally wrong with him. And so, you know, and they also say he should not come home. His his um, mother's family yeah, looks he's, like he's they sensitized. Scared. They don't want him. His, he doesn't lawyer tried to get his, his, his lawyer said come. they wanted to make his bail like $50 or $75 because that's all he had in his piggy bank. And they were. Because in the family, <laughs> that's all we got to pay 10% of that. We don't got five. We ain't paying the five. Yeah. We ain't paying the fuck. Well, they are trying. They are trying to stop Bell in America. Not for nothing. You are innocent until proven guilty. And in America, you it's people sitting in jail right now just because right. they don't have money for Bell. Like, like just because they they have they can go home, but because they don't have money for Bell, and so but that's. That's Shout crazy. out to skincare it's guru. I know crazy. I missed my appointment. I'm coming to Jersey tomorrow, girl. I need my facial. But um, there are a lot of people who are getting out of jail and they commit crimes and they don't need to be on the street. So I read the newspaper from Jersey every day. And when somebody gets out of jail, they always say, and because of the new bail reform, this is why this is happening. You know, they make sure that they throw a shot in there for the bail reform. So getting rid of bail 
uh, it's not a thing where they're like, um, they're doing it and you have no bail, you have to sit in jail. No, the, with the bail reform, because the bail bonds got rich off of this, they're getting rid of the bonds. So you get locked up and you go see the judge and depending on your crime, they normally let you out or they, you know, or they, they reprimand you depending on how serious the crime was. But I think that they're reserving that for people who have extremely violent crimes. My, 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 See, they don't like you start talking all that stuff. No, 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 my, my bad. Right. No, no, I got oh, my, my I was like, they're not playing. Right, but, but, but what I'm saying with the bail reform is that, yes, there are people in jail, it's unfortunate, who have low-level crimes, misdemeanors, you know, maybe drug charges or just driving suspended, they can't come home. But that bail reform in New Jersey is definitely backfiring. So um, we got to find a medium. Oh, and shout out to the licking and of uh, course down right. in, in Miami. It used to be finger licking. I don't know w when it became the licking, but uh, it's a young black girl. Um, she started that off. I think she had a food truck at first, and then she had a, a location, and she has one on South Beach. And um, the prices are outrageous, but um, the food is v is very good. So shout out to her. And um, you know, um, unfortunate situation. I wouldn't want that type of promotion to tell anybody about my restaurant. But um, I pray. That everybody is the um uh, is the tax he never guy requested. still here? I'm real interested oh, in. Hold on, real quick. Well, while we get while we find the tax guy, the tax guy, Yay. let's get into bunny tails. Oh my! Bad. I, I was ready for the story. Okay, okay. My bad, ladies and gentlemen. It is Friday. I got a four. I got a seven a.m. flight. Bunny, 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 bunny tails, 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 it's bunny tails, go bunny, go, hey, now guys, imagine this. Imagine someone having, imagine you having a crush on somebody and you come up with this great idea to tell them live or national television. And then three days later, pow, they kill you. Imagine that. Now, back in the 90s, the biggest thing on television were talk shows, okay? So you had all these talk shows, that Ricky Lake, Jenny Jerry Jones, Springer, you know, um, Donahue, Ricky, Ricky Lake, Jenny Jones. That's all of these, these talk shows. It was a big deal. This is before social media. All right. Now, in March of 1995, on an episode called Secret Crushes of the Jenny Jones Show. Okay. A 34-year-old Michigan man by the name of Scott. Now, Scott had a crush on his that's guy where, that's, Johnson, that's where the murder comes. Right? Okay, so right. now, <laughs> yes. Now, Scott had a crush on this guy named Jonathan. Now, um, Scott came up with this great idea. He was watching TV one day, and he seen this commercial that says, if you have a secret crush on somebody and you want to tell them, come up on, on the Jenny Jones show and tell them. Now, <clears throat> so... Wrong. Now, when Jenny Jones, Jenny, Scott, Scott called the show. Now, Jenny Jones, the people, the producers, they called Jonathan. Now, Jonathan agreed to come on the show because he thought it possibly was his ex-girlfriend that he broke up with six months ago. So he thought his ex wanted him back and that she was trying to do something crazy. And so he said, all right, I'm going to come up on the show. So now Scott, so now Jonathan gets up on the show and Scott is being with his friend Donna. Now, Donna is the person who Scott met Jonathan through. Jonathan and Donna was friends, and that's how Donna introduced Scott to Jonathan. So, John, Scott already told Donna that she liked Jonathan, and he brought um, Donna on the show with him. So now, Jonathan comes out, he sees Donna. So Jenny Jones like, oh, do you, um, this is your friend. Do you think your friend like you? He said, no, this is my friend. I know she don't like me. So then he says, oh, it's Scott. 
So now Jonathan is sitting there and he's smiling. You know, he's smiling, but he's like, yeah, I'm not gay or anything like that. So I don't want anything to do with Scott. And so now after the show is over, Jonathan tells Scott and, and, and Donna like, yo, what's good with y'all flights when y'all fly out? So they check their flights. They both on separate flights. So he like, yo, if y'all could get y'all flight switched over, y'all could fly out with me. When we get back home, I'll drive y'all from the airport to y'all crib. So they like, all right, no problem. They switch their flights. They having people on the plane said they seen them having fun on the plane, laughing, joking. They get to the airport. They drive back to Scott crib. They go to Scott crib for a while. Then they go to the bar. And now they chilling at the bar. They all drinking, having fun. And so after that, everybody thought it was cool. But when Jonathan went to work, one of his co-workers testified that Jonathan was actually tight, that he told her that he was mad, he don't know why Scott brought him up on the show, he violated this, that, and the third. So now, um, Jonathan goes home from work, and he gets to his house, and he see a letter and a flashing light on his porch. So he picks up the letter, and the letter says, if you want to do something, I got the tool for it. So it came from Scott. Now Jonathan is tight. So Jonathan gets in his car. He goes to the bank. He gets some money out the bank. Then he goes to the store. He buys some bullets. Then he goes to another store and buys a shotgun. And then he goes to Scott's house. So now he knocks on Scott's door. Scott's in the back room. But I don't know if, he, if this was his roommate or if his friend was just there that day. But when um, Jonathan knocks on the door, Scott's friend goes to the door, answers the door. He's like, oh, Scott's in the back. So Jonathan walks to the back. So the friend said he heard them talking. And then Jonathan walks out and says, yo, I got to go outside and turn my car off. I left my car on. But he actually went outside to go get the gun. So then he came back to the door, knocked on the door. This time, Scott answers the door. When Scott answers the door, opens the door, Jonathan's standing there with the shot. So now Scott like, oh, shit, he got a gun. It's a chair next to Scott. Scott picks up the chair and put it in front of him and starts backing up. So now he's telling his friend, he's like, yo, yo, he got a gun. He got a gun. And then Jonathan comes in the house, pow, hit him, pop him through the chair. Scott falls back, hits the floor. Jonathan stands over him, cocked back, pow, hit him again, and then left. And so now they lock Jonathan ass up. And Jonathan is in court blaming everybody except himself. He said he's bipolar and he suffers from depression and that the show traumatized him and it triggered his bipolar and depression. And he thought that his grandparents would think, what's up, Lil C's? He thought his grandparents would think that he was gay. And that was a big deal for him. His parents could his grandparents couldn't think he was gay. Like, oh my God, sis. He was horrible. gay. So that's why he had to go kill him. Yes. Now, remember I told y'all early on that they had went to his house after he dropped him from the airport. So people are speculating that they had some type of sexual encounter that night and that he really had a problem with his sexuality. And this is the reason why he killed Scott. So now trial's over. They hit him. He gets 25, no longer than 50 years. But he appeals the case. And then they, they grant his appeal. He gets a second trial. He goes back to trial. <laughs> they say, yeah, nah, <laughs> same shit. They, they, they hit him with second. They hit him with second degree murder. But this is the thing. He should have got first degree murder mm -hmm. because it was premeditated. So he should have got first degree murder and never was released. But the flip side is that Scott, the victim, his family sued the Jenny Jones show and Warner Brothers and said that it was their fault that their son was murdered. And so they had to go to court. Let me tell you something. That lawyer chewed Jenny Jones a new ass on that stand, okay? He was digging into her ass. Y'all got to go pull up this footage and watch this trial. It was so good. And so he's like, yo, you in the business of embarrassing people. And when y'all, after y'all embarrass these people, they leave your show and you don't care what happens to them, like at all. And so Jenny's defense was, well, he was smiling on the show. He didn't seem like he was mad, but the lawyer came back and said, well, bitch, aren't you smiling now? You are.
on the stairs smiling now. She said, well, I smile when I'm nervous. He said, well, bitch, Yo. that's what he was doing. <laughs> Yo, that was it. Bag them up, okay? They got the money, 25 milli, but then they appealed it and they threw that shit out. So the family ain't never get no money. They should have so, got some. Yeah, they, they um, never That's get why, no um, one thing I loved about Oprah, even though she ain't really helped nobody in Chicago, was that she always said that when she did her episode, she made sure that they were integrity based. And that's something that we care about here on the Bacon, Egg, and Cheese show as well. Like, we're not just here. Like, yes, we chop up hot topics and dish the dirt, but we are very transparent and we use the topics to be teachable moments. So I do, I feel like they should have like, been held accountable. Yes, because they don't care. And I mean, they, the same thing now. Everybody just want to go viral. Yes. And yes, and it's a, it was a hate crime. It was but premeditated. He and he should have got sentenced. He should have got sentenced to more time. It was wild back in the days. Talk show was king. And, you know, you get to see that even now, like, people so, will kill you if so you embarrass them. You know what I'm saying? Guy, like, who, okay, I guess you're saying it's the difference between meditated and premeditated because there's a guy who uh, I, I believe he slept with a transgender. I think it was a football player or the person lied to him. And he, you know, he took him out of here. And I believe that he beat it, if I'm not mistaken, because, you know, you complete temporary insanity, you know, because if that's not your lifestyle, that's not your preference, and then it's on national television, 10, 20 million people seeing it, you know, um, I'm not excusing his actions, you know, and I, I, don't, I don't think that you should go wipe anybody out, but I don't know who his lawyer was, because... Yeah, he hear that. Yeah, but no, they thought his lawyer did good because actually he should have been hit with first degree. But the thing is, it was three days later. You can't use an insanity that been, that three been cooking. days later. He had time to think about it. He, you only get no, he went to 20 the minutes. store. It doesn't matter. He went to, yes, he went to the store three days later. He went to the bank. He knew exactly what he was doing. Pulled out the money out the bank. Went, bought the bullets in the gun. Loaded the shotgun. He had to assemble the shotgun. He did all of that. Loaded that shit up. Went to his house to check to see if he was there. Went to the back and said, yeah. All right, he there? Went back outside. Got the shotty. Came back. Hit him. Boom. And then when he hit the floor, he hit him the again. Sound effects for me. Boom. <laughs> she really like, a rapper. Listen, she ran it back. She said, he, I Murray, said. You don't want no, I'm, you ain't no better story. No, exactly. I, was, I wrote that down. Look, I literally wrote that down. I said, because they don't want nobody to turn into Keith Murray. I literally wrote that down. I spelled Murray wrong, but I literally was just <laughs> writing that on my note cards. Like, that's why. Like, they don't want you to come back later on talking about, oh, yeah, <laughs> Foxy did this. <laughs> my neighbor did that. No, no. I'm no, not that man tell no nobody. Tale. I ain't that popping nobody. Tell no tale. Y'all even talk on dead people. Y'all won't even let Aaliyah rest. Y'all won't even let her rest. Y'all just bring up all these old things. Like, y'all just, this is why. So. I ask questions yeah. about things that people did, whether they here or not, whether they old or not. I questioned some of my grandmother's actions, you know, when I went through Ancestry.com. I said, y'all never told me this. You know what I'm saying? And like, I ask questions like, you know, I will, I'll be totally transparent. You know, my dad, my dad is older than my mom, you know, so, uh, and his mom was born in like the 1800s. And I found out that she allegedly was a sex worker. And that makes a lot of sense why I be trying to save the hoes. But, um, you know, I ask questions. I'm on the phone with my oldest sister, me, my, si my other sister, my nephew. We like, yeah, so what did she do for a living? Now, back then in the 1800s, it wasn't a lot of jobs because when I'm looking through Ancestry.com, they have, you know, people's jobs is, is washboarding or just crazy stuff, laborer. You know what I mean? It wasn't many jobs. You know, and if she looked anything like me, she probably was getting paid. But um, you, <laughs> I don't know if that's information that people should be sharing. I don't care. You know, it makes sense why I have sympathy for the people. It's in my DNA. But um, OnlyFans is so popular now. That's the sex worker. So it's like, 
I mean, how does your spirit feel I think whenever you do whatever God you do? I don't care what people do. It doesn't bother me. Like, whatever you do, is, is, I choose what I want to be around, do, like, the kind of people I want to be around. But if you're happy, then I really, I mean, as long as you're not inflicting harm or stealing my money or bothering my daughter, I mean, keep it over there. I think my, I think my, my, um, great, great, um, grandfather was, I'd be mad like as hell like, if he knew my, my grandmother, stuff like, <laughs> and they, and they ran, I think my, my great grandmoms like ran the, the house. She was like the madam. Cause my backhand is strong. My, when you, that, I'm like, <laughs> nah, that, that's past that. From generation. It, it makes it makes sense why I, I love them so much. I've had a soft spot. I've dated a few, you know, retired. Um, I'm, I don't even know what the point of that story was. I don't know where I you, was going. You just be wanting to tell them stories. Uh, no, ancestry got to come at me up to five in the morning. Okay, because I be comparing notes and comparing. Oh, that's why, because you said I tell people, you know, I ask people, I won't let Leah live. I ask questions, you know what I'm saying? No, I didn't say you, I said... I say when I say y'all gotta about the, do this the people, circle. not oh, specifically. I mean, but, Aaliyah, if it, but if it Aaliyah, hits your you heart, date, just you... like when the pastor talking, lean into it. If you felt like it was for yeah, you, I will lean, yeah, it was. It is lean cool into it. Aaliyah, you did date Jay, and then you did go lean with Dane. It. You was with Jay, and then you was with Dane. It don't you know. matter, okay? She, you don't know what she went through. First of all, she was married to a grown man. Clearly, her parents had no control. They like, where, where is the compassion? All right. For that Fine. child, Fine. okay? She passed away. She was like 22 years old. She can't date friends. Lisa Turtle messed with Zack and Slater. What's the problem? Yo, you, Kelly you love, he messed with everybody. Yo, you, you lovely. I, don't be like, surprised I gave them people. What, what are you saying? Wait, wait you lovely said, um, I'm surprised you did Ancestry, gave them people your DNA. Baby, they had my DNA. I'm a three-time felon. They, they, been, <laughs> they been had my DNA, baby. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, now let's find out who who know me. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. I don't. I did ancestry. I um gave my results live on one of these shows. Brina, you could find it probably post it. But it's some crazy ancestry stories out here. Like I sure. was up in the wee hours of the morning looking at these crazy ass stories um from ancestry when people finding out their family is not their family and all kinds of crazy stuff like i was hoping to find some siblings i'm gonna do 21 and me you got to do that too love. you know they, yeah. they gave my sister yeah, that one my of them sister knows every health ailment we have i mean 23 and me is crazy i'm I'm definitely gonna do that but ancestry.com you know that that was the one that i i did because you know i mean i was here i hit you i just uh asked him to join he didn't uh, come up but, well it's okay we might have to figure out another day um this was been a is it this was a great episode. Very great um, time. Very, very entertaining. Highly entertaining. Shout out to Lil Zane. Shout out to you ladies. You know, we're doing it. We're going into our second year. If you are new here, welcome to the party. Make sure you are following the BEC show on Instagram. Don't forget to show love on YouTube as well. It's Bacon Egg, the letter N, Cheese Show. Watch, like, subscribe, and don't forget to touch that notification bell. No freaky. So you don't miss any exclusive content. Oh, I like the way you said that. Uh, um, wait, wait. Somebody just said something. Let's see. It is Freaky Friday. Um, okay. Wait a minute. Where's she going? Thank you, Overflow. We love you. Green the Beats, we enjoy you. Yes, and um, shout out to um, Star as well. Yeah. She's still like, Yo, in the kitchen. But, I mean, they really hold us down. Like, guys, mm -hmm. they're people who really, really hold us down. And Green the Beats is, like, the fourth member of the group. Like, Green the Beats is the DJ. You know what I'm saying? Like, we the rappers. And <laughs> Green is like Spinderella for the Baker Egg and Cheese show. She's the chef back there, so... And you know, Spinderella is a Leo, just like Green. Wait, we wait. don't... They don't mind being in the background. They don't gotta make it up. April, we... And... Okay. Little Wayne is a Libra. Yo, yo. No, he's uh, not. Who's the who's the Libra? Oh, I thought you said Lil Zane. I was like, no, he's not. Okay, Wayne. Okay. No. Well, DMX, Jay Z, and, and Britney Spears are Sagittarius. Uh, Khalees is a a Leo, and but I'm a Lurgo. I'm I'm right on the cusp. Like I'm the last day, so I still have a little spillage into the Virgo vibe. So I'm a Leo Virgo. That's why. You feel like Beyonce is on the show every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12.30 p.m. on Live with the Legends, Lady Luck, and Babs Bunny. 
It's not Beyonce. It's me, Miss Lissa. Don't oh, be confused. Oh, damn. I thought it was Beyonce. Yeah, don't be time. confused. No, no, it's the energy. It's Beyonce energy. It's Michael Jackson energy. It's different. It's Prince. We're superstars. That's just what it is. I'm a Lurga. Yeah. Yeah, well, definitely. Shout out to anybody who has a birthday coming up this month or a birthday that just passed. Thank God that we're still here. 2023 is already shaping up to be the Twilight Zone. So no, I... <laughs> let's just... not. What does that mean? What does that mean? Eggs Shout out to all of the um, Capricorns. Capricorns. Eggs. Eggs. What are you saying, Babs? I'm sorry. Eggs. Eggs cost almost you know what I'm saying? All we want to do is speak abundance on our lives. The same way back in the day, you could feed a whole family for five dollars. They was getting paid uh, like certain kind of money where they could afford it. So what we're going to speak is abundance and life and more monetary value, so that we can afford the thirteen dollar eggs and the and, and the twenty dollar asparagus. We're if y'all ask get, God to if make sure that got, our talents we, and our bank accounts have a have a meeting and they on the same page okay if you get in with and you don't eat all your eggs because y'all get mad vouchers y'all should share your eggs with people because eggs is ten dollars don't let your wick your wick products good. spoil you and go bad Share your wick products with people out here. Yo, uh, there, there's some uh, prices uh, this curl cream. cream. I, I got to show y'all in the next show. I don't want to blow them up. Oh, but what has helped me, because ladies and gentlemen, I shaved all my hair off under this thing. And I was like, you know, I had a low season. I could feel my scalp. And to have my hair grow back, I have, uh, this was back, this was last year, September. And I have Lucky CBD um, hair drops and hair growth. And I have shampoo for it. And I just had the samples. And it definitely had my hair growing. My hair's healthier than it's ever been. So, um, I well, I need some because I'm I want my edges to be a little more uh, aggressive with the growth. I want it a little harder, no freaky. Yeah, celebrity, celebrity kill. I'm trying to bring up April. April says she she said, "Lady Luck, did you date Red Man? I did." So I just want huh? to get a little bit of tea. Yeah, but she's not here. Well, um, why she... you avoiding the question? Did you? No, what? I never dated. She said yes. Red Man. Well, yeah. I was just fucking. I mean, Stop that was just messing around. Happy, that man was ne Stop never capping. my type of man. What are you talking about? Like, What's I'm your not type of man. What you like, method man, right? Mm. Tell us. You don't want that red man. You want that feet. method. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not like, like, he like, I was in the going room. to the Rockefeller dressing guys. Then so you, the you wanted Jay. No, I didn't want Jay. Memphis Bleak. Who you messed with? I'm just saying, like. The, what? Miss Bleak. Money oh. holder. Cog Miller. Blood holder. Who you would no, say no. back then? Dang no, you're both, you're both extremely annoying. But no, I, I never dated anybody. We ain't said That's date. The, That's the, the word you choosing to use. We said, who you type? Oh, like, I think that Ghostface is cute. You know. Oh, you going to You know what I mean? Like, okay. in the Shade Shake Shade Shay days. Um, mm -hmm. He's still looking good. Yeah, like. You know that type of guy. I, I, I really well, he really said y'all gonna have to be four in the bed, two at the hip foot, and two at the head. So are you down to share the bed? I don't want to share anything. So um, I'm just gonna stick with what I like. And so you want to stick with women? Oh, okay. Yo, I'm telling you, I I gotta bring that toy on the show and show y'all how crazy it is. I was thinking about putting a sock on it though, because I know I can't show the actual toy, but that thing go crazy. We don't. Celebrity kissing. No, I don't. Plug I'm straight. I could straight. plug myself. I'm, so you I'm pretty... straight. I, we knew you were straight. See, mm -hmm. that's what the people been wanting to hear from it's, you this whole time. Like, stop lying. You you straight. No, no. I I have a girlfriend. Yo, yeah, you and Ghostface have a yo, baby. Your walls would be crazy, yo. Ghost lady, oh, what the baby's name gonna be? What? Yo, they gonna be in there, yo. The smoking CBD. You think you smoking CBD? What? Yeah, you know me. That that was naughty by nature, but you, no, but I'm you not. Are, you are naughty. What? You are naughty by nature, and you from New Jersey, okay? I think this okay. is one. Of, I think this is one of the most left conversations that we've ever had, and you know, ladies, you you know. I'm just happy well, you finally said it. You straight? No, no, I'm straight on that. I don't need nobody to hook me up with anybody. Like I'm good. I'm in a. a Cash rules no. and everything around me. Mm -hmm. I never money. Tommy Matola. 
Lives on the road. Hey, hey. Lives hey, on the road. Hey, what? Uh, <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Two months ago. Three. So you singing the song, bro? No, you, no, you, you, you had it first. Look. You had it first. You had it two months before it hit the three. Maybe no. he'll find her. No. no. I don't. Maybe he won't. You, it's you correcting your young man's song for me. It was a test. No. I knew that was your nigga. No. You no. wouldn't even let me get um, the I song. Enjoy, I, I enjoy rap music. Um, but you know, I'm gonna hook Babs up with a man. Well, Babs like both, and and you like both. So this Who conversation like wouldn't bother both? either one of y'all. Who like both? Y'all both like, like both. Who like both? Y'all like both. Who like both? Miss Listen, you, you, you Miss Listen, do you date men? Child, uh, it's like you ever girl, I, 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 listen. Listen. Listen, you, 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 I tried to tag somebody. I tasted the chicken and it wasn't hard. Okay, I don't listen, want listen, it. Listen, I'm listen, not going. Huh? What? Always trying to talk about somebody in the shenanigans. What? Just because just because I dabble, okay? You know what she talked about? I straddle. Okay. She's trying to throw it off. Okay. Nah, ain't none of us. Come on, it's Listen, you date men, right? Yes. Would you date a woman? Would I date a woman? I wouldn't date a woman. I don't think I would date a I don't know. But I haven't dated a woman. I have never dated a woman. I have never dated a woman. Why the fuck you lying? I never dated a woman. I never dated a woman. Dating. You say dating. That's dating. I didn't, I didn't say I didn't. I didn't say I never. I never dated, like I never courted a woman. <laughs> never courted a woman. <laughs> it's you having all the lying uh sound bites for me, but again, That's I say suspicious. I never That's weird. I, I never dated. I never dated a woman. <laughs> I never dated a woman. <laughs> okay. Time. <laughs> it's the it's, it's you gotta be specific with what you ask it and I never dated a woman. God. I went on oh, one date with a woman. I'm, there we go. I did. Hold on, no. I went on one date. Oh my god. It didn't work, but I didn't date. I never dated a woman. Oh, if you want if you want to call it a date, I went on a date. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this dude. It's all right. It's you trying to pull somebody yeah, out the closet. Just because you, said, you licking gooches, so now I gotta go to the pooches. Like, why you gotta do that to me? <laughs> I like I plead the fish. Oh, I'm like, damn, this oh, is a daytime talk show. You always trying to take things the other to the oh, other like, side. Always home, like, trying to home, do home, it. Like, okay, always, always. All right. Fuck your couch, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but again, this is Freaky Friday. It's been an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we were unable to type tap in with our tax guy, but we will figure that out for next week. Uh, we want everyone to have an amazing weekend. Tomorrow, I'm going to be at St. Mark's Place, St. Mark's Comedy Club. It's downtown on St. Mark's. Um, the show, I believe, starts at 8 p.m. The information is in my... Uh, Insta story. You can also, you know, just go to my website and just get more tapped in with me and my non dates with girl dates. Okay. It's misslistenknows.com. Why the fuck you lying? You wish I went on a date. Like, <laughs> like, like, that's what you want. You want me to go on a date. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Mm. The ladies love Miss Lissa. The ladies love Miss Lissa. Somebody, oh, lady. anybody, everybody. Yo, yo, That's man, it. Good job today, man. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for giving us your time. Shout out my sister in the comments. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for pulling up to the Big Egg T Show. Thank you for uh, copping the badges. We appreciate you. April, I keep trying to pull you up. We only here because I was trying to get the tea. But it, it, I keep saying and they say you're not... You, what happened? April no. used to mess with Come get to see you see. Yeah. <laughs> it be your own friend. Oh, God. I thought, I thought we were going to get that lotion. Baby, listen. Run. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, listen.
list is frozen. Did she hang up on us? See, see what you did. Yo, what is you waiting for? Wake that ass up. After we do the show, 